hello friends uh, so welcome to our youtube family uh, so today we have come with a new topic that is dns server and resolving host name in the dns server so the purpose of the using dns server is uh, 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 suppose uh, we have a uh, n number of devices in the network and we cannot remember all the ip addresses of the uh, ne uh, devices so what we can do we can give a sensitive name like a one router this router is located in kanpur so we can give its name as a kanpur kanpur router okay and the second router is located in uh, another city lucknow so we can give it as a lucknow router so this is the sensitive name and by the sensitive name we we can access the site or router remotely where you you are uh, managing all the network okay so um, not remembering to all the ip address and getting access of all your devices in the network is can be done by uh, can be done by dns server so in this topology i have taken one dns server one server where we will configure dns services and two routers router one and router two and one switch one uh, called switch one and one remote pc where you will access all these devices okay so same topology i have created in the cisco packet tracer and uh, where we will configure uh, the dns services and uh, verify its configuration is working or not so this is the uh, topology dns server router 1 router 2 and switch 1 and the remote pc okay so here i have configured uh, something like uh, i have configured ip addresses of the interface and uh, <coughs> IP address on the native VLAN of this switch and IP address in these two devices also so because uh, I'm assuming that uh, you are good to know about TNS server IP address how to configure and what to configure so come to uh, you can check its configuration one by one so that it is easy to uh, get configuration while you are uh, creating the same topology when you practice so come to the desktop and you can check IP address has been uh, configured already here this is the IP address of the server and this is the subnet mask and this is the default gateway okay and uh, the router in the router i have configured uh, like show run you can check so i have configured the host name of the router host name is the router one and uh, configure the interface kicks gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 the ip address is 0 slash 0 this and ip address is configured 192.168.3.1 okay and on this interface uh, ip address is 1.1 .1. so let me put the ip address here so that you can remember easily slash 24 but ip address are different enable and show run so you can check the host name for the this router is host router 2 and uh, gigabit 0 slash 0 is 3.2 here the IP address of the this interface 3.2 and uh, 2.1 is the uh, IP address of this interface and uh, this int I have con uh, text it here wrong ip let me correct it okay. and uh, in the switch also show run so you can check what i have configured the host name switch one and uh, 
the IP address in the VLAN interface one is 3192.168.2.5 okay that's it in default gateway so <clears throat> so I am assuming that uh, you all know about uh, how to configure IP address in the uh, router interface and uh, how to uh, pass the traffic from one node to another node so I think uh, uh, this this things you you all know already if you don't know you can check my another video in the channel where you will find uh, with all the detail okay so in this video we will learn only a DNS server and name server and resolving host name so this is the topic and that's why we are focusing on this that and this topic so now um, suppose in this PC uh, and the command prompt I want to ping any device in the network suppose this device or this device this device any device you can ping from here so let me ping the server 1.100 so you can see reply from 192.168.1.100 you are getting the reply so it's mean that the traffic can pass through one node to another node okay and uh, let me uh, telnet any device telnet 192.168.io uh, suppose i want to telnet this device so i either i can put the ip 2.1 or uh, or i can put 3.2 both ip uh, telnet can be accessed if it is allowed or not uh, allowed so 3.2 it is not allowed so let me check with uh, another IP 2.1 so it is still not allowed so what I have to do uh, I have to go to, to the router and configure the line VTY so that telnet can be accessed so config terminal and line VTY 0 4 and uh, password password you can give as per your choice so let me give it uh, cisco and uh, uh, where it will ask it will ask while you log in the device okay exit and give the secret password also so enable secret and uh, cisco right okay and now you can access through this PC so put again telnet uh, 192.168.2.1 and enter you can see uh, you are asked to put password so password you have put in uh, put already Cisco so enable and Cisco is the same password of the enable secret okay so you have all the access of this device and you can get the this uh, router host name so let's configure the same thing in this uh, this uh, switch and this uh, router also so go to the switch config t line vty04 and uh, password cisco enable oh, sorry exit no line vty04 password cisco and login exit enable secret cisco that's it wr2 save the configuration and uh, mm, config t line vty04 password cisco login exit enable secret cisco and and wr2 save the configuration okay 
so you can log in all the device with this PC go to the command prompt and you can tell net any device like uh, this 3.1 IP so 192.168.3.1 and you are asked to keep the password so password is the Cisco and enable so now you can check your host name has been changed because of the the new device has been accessed so router 1 and the previous was the router 2 you can uh, go to the switch also with the same uh, command telnet telnet and switch ip address is 192.168.2.5 okay this is the ip address and press enter and you are asked to enter the password so cisco and enable cisco so you can check you have uh, access of the switch so this is the <coughs> telnetting the device but the the topic is to how to resolve the host name so resolving host name is the typical part and uh, you cannot access the device without dns server so i have dns server but i have not configured anything so before configuring dns server let's check if you can uh, take the advantage of the uh, putting this host name or you can ping let me ping router one router one what you are getting you are getting translating router one you are getting this error right and you can go to this uh, CLI also you can ping switch switch one so you are getting the same error because you have not done anything so go to the DNS and services and DNS so it should be on and give the name of the first device the first device name is the router one and the ip address of this device so ip address is 192.168.1.1 okay so i have already said you can give any ip of the interface uh, this router has two interface so you can give either this 1.1 ip or 3.1 ip so i have given 1.1 and add okay again uh, put the second device name router 2 and the ip address of this router 192.168.2.1 okay and uh, add and the next uh, switch switch 1 and its ip address so its ip address is 192.168.2.5 and add that's it so record has been added and let's check now go to the pc and go to the command prompt and uh, you can access router 1 without ip address you can tell it through its host name so host name of the first router is router1 okay so you can see you are asked to enter the password password is cisco cisco okay that's it so you can tell net another device also put switch switch1 and then you can see you are asked to enter the password so you can check uh, we don't need uh, to remember the IP address of the old device you can put only the host name of the to access the device and uh, you can also ping the device with the host name ping uh, router 2 router 2 so see so you can take the advantage of the host name of dna and uh, also the dns server so hope 
uh, this step, uh, topic was good to learn and if anyone has a query question related to this topic so you are most welcome welcome to put your comment in the comment section below and uh, i'll try to answer it thank you again